that we like to do to start off our courts is to make sure the children of the Middle Kingdom are properly entertained. <laughs> so, please call forth the children. Their Majesties call forth the ravening children of the Midrow. <laughs> so, children, what we have in this chest largest from the kingdom, gifts for you, but in order to get these gifts, you must chase down Lord Grimbor. We, you, you have to chase him, but we feel it's only fair that we give him a five count head start. So, five, four, three, two, one, <laughs>
So, I've had the pleasure to get to know Wilhelm throughout the reign, and whenever we've needed a seneschal, he's been able to step up, even today, when we had to run a court uh, you know, for someone, he was willing to step up and do the work that it was needed. So, it is only right and proper that we afford him something for the service that he's done for the kingdom, such long standing service. So thank you very much. Master Wilhelm, huzzah! <laughs> This is even more special that we get to recognize your service to what you've done for the kingdom. And this should have been something that was done many years ago. So thank you very much for the service. Lady Susanna, huzzah! <laughs> this one was a staple in that group. 
Always singing, always being heard. Mostly mid-rummers, but he got a lot of 
uh, inter-kingdom performers from Penzig, from Golf Wars, and from online bardics. Fantastic stuff. Well, William, uh, tell us about the 80s, because that's very cool. <laughs> Dinosaurs were still evolving. What have you got? So, uh, hopefully, within the next few months, I will put online almost 400 videos starting in 1987. Crowns, coronations, elevations of peers, uh, fight practices. Oh my goodness. This should give every fighter in this room a great deal of hope to be elevated to a peerage if you see how we fought. <laughs> I'm assuming there's a point. Uh, this, oh, oh, right, 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 right. Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, we, we would make a move. If it's a right and proper thing, it shall be yours. Well, for uh, service to the SCA for at least 35 years, and service to the barony of Middle Marches, and the province, and now the canton of Trigurtsea, and the barony of Eriton, and the region of the Midlands, and the Middle Kingdom, and the society, and for maintaining and adding to, and, 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 and making a website, a, a YouTube site, with now over 3,000 videos, we ask that Kieran Cantor be admitted into your most noble order of the Pelican!
Has everyone seen this? I mean... King and Queen of the Mid-Realm, right mindful of superior skill, 
leadership and exemplary service to the rapier legions of our kingdom, specifically for being a teacher and a scholar of the many schools of defense and sharing his love and skills in his whole barony and throughout the Oaken region, especially with the College of St. Brutus, do hereforth recognize Sigmund as a companion of our company of the Bronze Ring.
Is there a royal pair who will speak to the nobility of Victor? I am Moonwolf, Duke of Midrell. I have the regard that is not lightly or quickly given, but observed over decades. Victor is a man who has faithfully served the crown, the kingdom, and its people from at least the reign of King William. He shares this regard with kings of the Midrell. This man has qualities. Is there a companion of the Laurel who will attest to Victor's skill in the arts and sciences? Your Majesties, I have a letter. To the Midrealm Court, a word from Mistress Mary Cayley. Greetings to their Majesties and the honored people of the Midrealm from Mary Cayley, Laurel, Pelican, and Baroness from the Kingdom of Trimeris. I owe a debt to the Middle Kingdom for the grace shown to me by your kings and queens. Mentor Laurel's Master Basilius Focus and Mistress Heloise de Bergenstead and a host of others. I offer these words to make small payment of that debt. I will speak of Victor's service to the arts. The path to peerage is different for each of us. Some Laurels have spent countless hours writing theses and hanging out in arts and sciences competition. Some choose to spread their wings and create a broad spectrum of objects that add authenticity to our events and endeavors. Victor is an artisan like that. The list of his endeavors is lengthy. He undertakes these projects to create a more authentic background for events and to teach others that a period appearance and surroundings are possible for anyone. Some of his projects include calligraphy, brewing, researching absent, teaching people to make mace of garb, striking coins, researching Pompeii and providing dormice to the royal party, and making armor. As I said, we all have different reasons for pursuing the arts. Whatever your aspirations, let me encourage you to follow Victor's example. Make your art useful, use your art to help others fall in love with our little dream of chivalry. Make things you can be proud of, whether others understand them or not, and perform your artwork to have fun. Your Majesties, we need more members of the chivalry like me. Is there a companion of the Order of the Pelican who will speak to Victor's service? Yes, Your Majesty. I am Nisha Carrying of Petrovon, Master of the Pelican. Many people provide service when asked. Victor sees a need, a gap, something missing, and provides it, or makes sure it's provided so that the dream can continue. He inspires also others to do the same, not looking for grandeur or, or acknowledgement. I am absolutely delighted that Victor is part of my life and part of my SCA because he makes everything so much better for me. Thank you. Thank you. Is there a member of the Order of Defense who will attest to Victor's humility? Hi, Your Majesties, if you will allow it. I'm Adam Mackay, Master of the Order of Defense. <coughs> I've known Victor for many years, and in those years, we have broken bread many nights. We've shared ale many nights, several I remember. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen him grow, and I've seen him lift up others from the newest of fighters to the most experienced of fighters. I have seen him lift up our barony in your kingdom. I have fought next to him in the Dragon Horde out of Penzing many a times, and he has fought fierce. And he is a shining example of my fear of Majesties for this I believe. Thank you. Summon the members of our most noble order of the chivalry. Their Majesties summon the order of the chivalry. Noble sirs, having heard the words of the nobility of this, this kingdom, is it your judgment that Victor is worthy to be numbered amongst the orders of the chivalry, prowess, loyalty, and courtesy? Aye! So, 
Sir Ivar, I believe he has something of yours. Victor, right mindful of your prowess on the field and the responses to the wishes of your peers, we are minded to make you a knight. Know that to wear the belt and the chain of a knight is to hold a sacred trust, that the obligations of knighthood will demand your efforts every moment of your life. A knight of the society must be respectful of all religions never offending the faith of another. A knight must respect all those who are weak or defenseless, whether because of aid, infirmity, poverty, or vow, and be steadfast in defense. A knight must love his kingdom and fulfill the most faithful duties of his people, duties of his baron and his king. His words must be dependable upon them. No doubt or question, he must <coughs> Never flee from the face of his foes. He must be generous to all and always and everywhere. He must be a champion of the right and the good. The laws of society and the customs of the kingdom require that a knight be proud, as you have demonstrated. You are among, as you have demonstrated, as we are on this That a knight be courteous, as you have shown yourself to be, and as these nobles attest, and that a knight loyal to his kingdom and the society. Do you desire to accept the burden of knighthood and swear fealty to the crown? Aye. Is there a belt? Yes, your majesty, there is. So, Victor, wear this belt as a token of your prowess. Are there chains? Their spurs. Victor, wear these spurs as an outward token of your new station. Is there a sword? Will fealty and pay homage to the crown of the Middle East. Never be a good knight and true. Reverent and generous, shield of the weak, obedient to my liege lord, courteous at all times, foremost in battle, and 
champion of the right and good. Thus swear I, Victor Lansant de Dormans. This do we hear and shall never forget. To be your liege lord, rewarding guilty with love, valor with honor, and oath breaking with justice. In remembrance of oaths given and received, in remembrance of your lineage and obligation, be thou a good knight. Victor, as a sign of humility, be this the last blow that goes unanswered. Everyone here receives a compliment. 
So, the only thing that we ask for in return on one of these cups is to come back again. Come back again and tell us your stories. Tell us what you experienced. You saw fighting, you participated in fighting, you saw arts and sciences used in calligraphy. You found archery. You served at your home. You served helping out. We want to hear those stories. So please take these cups and enjoy them. So, like I said, it's an hour scene. Oh, please come see this. For the newcomers, future of the society, huzzah! Stories with us today. And with that, drink up! 